Hey guys, this is Tim with City State Entertainment and we're bringing you another UI update. Uh, the last time we gave you a UI update, the art that was in that was mostly programmer art. Uh, so you could see a little bit of stuff going on, but it wasn't very interesting and didn't look very good at all. So we asked uh, Michelle to mock us up a very generic UI. Um, we don't have, the UI right now is more mature than our actual gameplay system. So it's, it's difficult to show off all the potential of the UI with the gameplay we have right now. So we had Michelle come up with a, a, a really generic UI that you could see in, in any MMO out on the market, um, just so that we could sort of show you, you know, that we can we can compose things made of anything that you could see in an MMO or a web page. That's one of the, the strengths of the UI engine we're using. Um, so we've gone ahead and put that together. And another one of the great features is that um, editing the UI is really, really simple. It's, it, it's again, using, using anything that you would use for a web page. So it's, it's HTML and CSS and JavaScript. Uh, anybody who's done any web page can pick it up. Anybody who's done any UI work for uh, other MMOs using XML and Lua, um, yes, it's a different scripting language, but JavaScript is really easy to pick up, and XML and HTML is basically the same thing. It's, it'll all be really familiar to you. Um, so what I'm going to do is take you through the process of building one of the widgets and it's actually I'm, I'm building it for you know this video so we'll take you through as I build it and you can see it only takes about 10 minutes to put together your your character view um, so let's go ahead over here and look at the code all right so what we start out with is um, just a basic HTML template that we've set up it's got your normal you know body and head tags and I've gone ahead and brought it and uh, brought in jQuery so that I've got access to that. But the, the rest of this is pretty much bare bones stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and you know throw up a, a red background so you guys can sort of see what we're looking at in Chrome and the game. Um, so here's red background, pull it up in the game. You can see the rectangle that I've defined for the window and there it is in Chrome. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that with a div. For our background art, it's just the uh, sort of the frame, the, the art that won't be changing, and we've we've baked in uh, Patrick's gorgeous mug. Uh, he'll be our uh, avatar for this widget. Um, we just go ahead and set up the CSS for it with you know, um, pull in the background art. There's the file name. I get the dimensions over there, and enter those in. Here's our background art and dimensions, position, that sort of thing. You know, the, the same sort of stuff that you would do for, for any widget in, in an HTML document. Um, so once we've got the background set up, we'll show it to you in Chrome and in the game. You can see what it looks like. It's real easy to refresh at five in both places. And we're going to go ahead and stub in the divs for your health bar, your health text, so that we can show you some numbers, your mana bar, your character's name, and your character's level. Um, and, and we'll put in some, some dummy data just so that you know we've got something to look at. Uh, obviously, as we mentioned before, a lot of these fields aren't hooked up to backing fields. We don't have the gameplay for them set up yet. Um, so some of this is just going to be hard-coded for uh, so you can see what we're looking at. So there's name and level. Get some data in there. And then to start with, we're just going to get our art for the um, health bar and the mana bar loaded up. So this, uh, this one's for our health bar, this one's for our mana bar. Go ahead and get our file name and our dimensions. And our mana bar file name and dimensions. And you can see we've got them now, now we just need to position them. So I've got these written down from beforehand, but you know, positioning things isn't rocket science. So we put our position fields in there.
and Budimus. Uh, so now we just need to go ahead and uh, format all of our text fields. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is, is health text. So he's just going to have the same position. So we copy that from the health bar, ax the art, uh, fix up the width and stuff a little bit. Move him over just a smidge. And, uh, you know, now we need to set up things like uh, our font. Set up our color. We're going to make this um, a light red. Not to be confused with an other girly color. This is light red. That's important. And we will make it a little bit smaller, but we want to make it bold because it's your health and that's important. So once we've got the health set up, we want to go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll copy the div out for the, um, we'll copy the style out for your level and name and then just tweak those for the uh, appearance that we want. So we grab that style, get two more, rename it for name and level. And then we go ahead and put in their position values so that they're where they ought to be. Put them in the right color. We want your name to be white and uh, big because your name's important. And we'll position your level, which he's going to go down in that little ring at the bottom. He's going to be yellow. Not bold because he's not important. Actually, it just looks better not bold. So there we go. Your text is all set up. The bars are all set up. Um, everything looks good, but it doesn't actually do anything yet. Um, so what we, want to do in, what we want to do is go in now and uh, actually make the uh, health and mana bar move. Um, so what we've got, uh, like I mentioned before, we've got this update function that I've just got set up with a set interval. It's going to run five times a second. And um, for the initial setup, all we're going to do is just have this driven by random values. And then later in the video, we'll hook it up to uh, the API and show you guys how we do that. Um, so we just want to get a reference to the health bar and the mana bar. And we want to save off the size of those. But we only need to do that the first time we run this. Then we're just going to set up, you know, your max health. We'll get a random current health. Uh, and then we get the ratio. And we just multiply the ratio times the width. And that's, that's how big your bar ought to be. And we just round it so that you've got nice, clean whole numbers so it looks good on the UI. There's our ratio, and we set the width. And it moves. So we're going to do the same exact thing with the uh, mana bar now. Copy that whole blob, change all the names to mana, as soon as I can get my spacing right here. And we don't need this spot holder text down there anymore because we're going to drive that from code as well. So we just go ahead and update the actual text itself as well uh, with the current HP. And we rename all these things to be mana instead of HP, and your max mana will be 500. And we could put text here, but the bar is so slim, it would be really hard to read. Um, so we'll just not do that. Update 
update all of our fields and everything moves, your, your health numbers are updated, and uh, you've got a UI that it functions, but it's not actually hooked up to any of our data yet. Um, so what we want to go ahead and do is we have this has API function up top that checks to see if you're attached to our game API. Um, and so if you're attached to our game API, we just pull those values from our game API instead of setting them to random values. And uh, what this will do is in the browser, you'll get random values. So you can see everything's still moving around just like it was. But in game, it doesn't move because our health hasn't changed. You're not taking damage. You're not getting healed. So that was putting together a UI widget pretty quick, pretty easy. But we just wanted to show off that, you know, you can do development using the browser of your choice. You can use, you know, Chromium with its JavaScript console or um, IE with its JavaScript console or Mozilla with um, uh, Firebug or anything like that. Um, or you can use the game or you can use both. Um, and there's also ways you can make UI widgets that look differently between the browser and the game based on whether or not our API is attached to the, to the underlying level. Um, so we've done things like um, uh, a login screen um, that pulls all the servers for information and um, in the game it's a login screen and outside of the game it's just a server status view. Um, so that's some of the things you can do with our UI and how you would go about doing it. Um, so this has been another UI update from City State Entertainment. Uh, thank you very much.